and gentlemen, welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for the week, the third week of September. I want to say to you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, shares, and support. Um, please subscribe. And um, this week is the week of the sun, so use this energy, you Aries. Okay, all my cousins that are watching. <laughs> use the energy of this week the week is beginning from the 16 until the 20 22nd so Aries let's see what's coming up for the Aries Sun Moon Horizon sign let's call upon the light beams um, the God and goddesses of the Aries to come in and we will see what is happening for the Aries Sun Moon Horizon sign now there is the six of one in reverse for you Aries whatever the issue and the situation is you have um, you were waiting for some news you Aries but you haven't received the news and it's about work okay so whatever um, news you were waiting for for work um, it isn't um, there it's not coming up okay the wheel of fortune is here and it's going to be good um, for some of you okay some of you who were waiting for news from work it didn't come in okay some of you are walking away from an issue and I keep on seeing this um, where I'm seeing that it's as if uh, your luck has come in and you're moving on and that is very good new love is coming in for you whatever the issue is situation is or was a new love is going to be coming in you some of you Aries are moving towards this new love that is coming in for you and this is going to be good okay in your foundations I'm seeing you connecting um, with people and whatever the deceptiveness or whatever that was transpiring between you and someone I'm seeing that you're walking away from this okay so apparently there was some real deceptiveness deceptive situation between you and someone and it has to do with the king of cups whoever this king of cups is is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion the knight this is someone between the ages of 18 and 45 now you Aries let's look at this uh, this person um, is uh, um, um, could be a Pisces as well as it, as it could be a scorpion for some of you okay so this person could be a Pisces as well as a scorpion for some of you whatever um, this person has done there was some deceptive move that this person have done so some of you are going to be dealing with someone between the ages of 18 and 45 this could be a son for some of you but for some of you it could be just someone on the work floor because I'm seeing work coming up so some of you are going to be dealing this with this person who is your child um, and this is a Pisces some deceptiveness with a Pisces uh, um, and uh, um, some of you are walking towards the Pisces because this is a new love that is coming in some of you this person is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion you could be dealing with this person on the work floor they could have done something against you but whatever they have done against you um, it's going to be resolved because this is someone who was younger than you are and they have done some deceptiveness against you and this is going to be resolved I'm seeing that some of you um, luck is going to be coming in for you or a shift because you were dealing with some karmatic issue and a shift is going to be coming in and the shift is going to be good because I'm seeing that you're moving towards a better seen and a better shift okay I'm seeing here some of you are definitely moving towards a new love in your life and this is a Pisces okay you're moving towards this person this person is showing you um, love some of you if you have a kid that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion I see there was some issues but you're letting it go and you're as if you know I'm I'm just letting it go I'm not um, taking um, taking it up uh, the three of Pentacles is here and whatever as transpire we have the energy of the three of Pentacles and the six of Wands. now 
what this is saying is that for some of you, um, you are dealing with a Leo and, um, some of you, um, you're dealing with a Leo and a Capricorn and whatever, um, is transpiring between you, this Leo and this Capricorn, you could be finding out if you're in a relationship with a Leo, they're, they're seeing a Capricorn, or you could find out if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn, they're seeing a Leo. Okay. So there is a situation. Some of you could be, um, going to collaborate with, um, a Capricorn or a Leo in work, or maybe this is a work situation on the work floor that you're dealing with a Capricorn and a Leo. Okay. Now, um, I'm seeing also the energy of, uh, um, the Virgos coming up where some of you could be having issues with the Virgos also, but there is definitely, um, issues on the work floor where some of you are dealing with the Virgo, the Capricorns and the Leos. Now the Leos are in the reverse for whatever, but the Capricorns are standing up strong. So you could be really connecting with a Capricorn on a, on the work floor or a Virgo. I'm seeing a Virgo could be bringing financial success in your life. I'm seeing this Virgo could be bringing financial success in your life. And what is transpiring also, I'm seeing that, uh, um, these a Virgo and a Cap and a Pisces could be coming in alignment of energy. And, uh, um, this is a very good because they're opening up like positive alignments of energy, whatever issues that you have had, you're going to be letting it go. Okay. You're going to be successful, um, with, um, um, situation with a Virgo. Um, and you could be successful at work for some of you, but I'm seeing if uh, there was, um, hardship with work and whatever, you're going to be coming out on top the wheel of fortune is here. And I'm seeing some of you working to remove your enemies. And this is a karmatic situation. Whoever you have conflicts with in this week is a karmatic situation. So it's not coming up as uh, a group of people, but it is coming up as individuality because this is a general reading. So some of you are definitely going to be having whoever you have issues with in this week. It has to do with something from past life. Now here we are seeing, um, a Pisces and a Capricorn. Now these two people are together. Now, some of you could be realizing um, that uh, your partner who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion, um, if you're in a relationship with a Pisces that they're moving towards a, a Capricorn, which is 45 years and older. Okay. Um, I'm seeing some of you realizing that this, uh, um, person who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion, their mother could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and you're having issues to deal with this person. You could be in a relationship with this person, but the mother doesn't really care for you. Um, because, um, uh, yeah, you know, mothers are like that. They always want a special type of people for their kids. So I'm seeing you dealing with, um, if you're in a relationship and, um, if, uh, um, this is your kid that you're dealing with. I'm seeing that, um, you know, they're kind of turning their back to their mother-in-law or whoever. Now, um, some of you are realizing that this person, this young Pisces cancer or scorpion person is, um, is connected. Their mother protects them. Their mother protects them. Okay. Now the energy of, uh, um, the Gemini's come up and some of you could be moving towards a Gemini. I'm seeing some of you that a Gemini is going to be coming in and offering you love. Okay. A Gemini is definitely going to be coming in and offering you love or a Gemini want to return and reconnect with you for whatever the reason is. Definitely. I said it. So, and here it is. It came out. Now, some of you in relationship, 
I'm seeing this coming up that in relationships, some of you are coming up in relationships. Um, and this is going to be good because I'm seeing that whatever the issue is that you were having with your husband or wife, this is going to be resolved. Okay. So if you are having issues, if there was uh, conflicts with your partner, it's going to be resolved. The six of cups is coming in. If there was some family issues that you were dealing with, this is also going to be resolved because I'm seeing that love is coming in from the family and it's as if someone is going to be coming in and apologizing for something that they have done, whether they have done it consciously or unconsciously. I'm seeing someone coming in and doing that to you. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, um, the Knight of Cups is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. Some of you could be finding out if your child is... Um, um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion between the age of 18 and 45 is that they're pregnant okay whatever is transpiring um, this child could be pregnant okay so because um, the mother and the baby is here this child could be pregnant it's unexpectedly but I, I see you guys are going to be helping out this child whoever this child is because there's definitely um, a, a situation where um, you're going to be finding out that your child become a teenage mother or so, but you're definitely going to be helping this child out because there's there's an expectant of a child. Some of you, um, it could be if uh, you have um, um, your son, um, the, the son is expecting a child. So this is here and this is uh, um, showing up for you guys. So you got to be aware of this. Whatever that is transpiring, I'm seeing some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. Now, this Capricorn is the mother of either your partner or um, uh, it could be a relative, but this is in good energy vibration, you and this Capricorn. Some of you could be moving forward and want to connect with this Capricorn in whatever way it is. I'm seeing that you could be moving forward and connecting with this Capricorn. Whoever this Capricorn person is, I'm seeing this Capricorn person is a very, um, uh, the heart of this person is very open and very honest. This is a very honest person. Okay. So as we recap, I'm seeing that some of you are dealing with an issue with your um, child that is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This child might be pregnant. Um, you could be finding out that this child is a pregnant. So be aware of this because um, you're dealing with this energy. You could be finding out that this child is pregnant. I am seeing some success coming up with your work or with whatever you're doing. Success could be coming in for work for you guys. What I'm also seeing is the two of cups, the energy of the two of cups. And what is here is that if there was an issue um, with your relationship, this is going to be ill. If there was an issue with a relationship, this is going to be ill. Whoever had some issue with your child, this is also going to be ill. Or if you had issue with family, this is also going to be ill. There is definitely um, someone that is going to be coming in with an apology. Okay. Some of you could be apologizing to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, or you're moving towards this person because you realize that this person heart is good and this is an honest to goodness person and this person is full of love and this person is really open up and I'm seeing you moving towards this this is an older wiser person it could be um, that this person is the mother of your um, your partner and um, you know you're having a really good connection with this person the energy that you have is fill your heart with love of Christ as well as um, mother God and father God then there is no room for hate okay so whatever is transpiring and whatever as transpiring you need to fill your heart with love of Christ okay and when you fill your heart with the love of Christ you receive unconditional love so ask the angels and guides in this week to bless your heart with unconditional love some of you need to clear, clear your heart chakras whenever this comes up. So call upon Mother, Father, God to look down on you and forgive you and replace 
the hate you have with love for this person so whatever has transpired I'm seeing you moving towards this person apologizing to this person and asking for forgiveness I love you guys please like share these videos the moon readings is up and uh, um, enjoy namaste